some work at some working place you need to work on saturdays as well so i get it i was uh, actually busy tomorrow because i'll have to go to the office tomorrow because um i'll tell you uh, if you guys don't know i work at flipkart and as you know at flipkart we have a dvd sale going on so the work that we have to like there's a lot of work these days so uh, so i i'm getting a week off today and i'll have to go to the office tomorrow so i'm not busy tomorrow usually i do sessions on sundays that's why i'm doing a session today i'm talk about oh, today speaking i believe this is a topic that interests uh, most of you so we'll discuss what problem people face while talking in front of a group of people in front of public and how we can overcome them so if anybody um, wants to share their experiences if you have talked with uh, if you have gotten an opportunity to talk in front of a group of people and how it went please go ahead i want to hear stories stories okay so yeah uh, sure myself as shravat uh in school i had this opportunity when we were selected for a event it was a science fair event in which we had made a project and now we had to showcase that project in front of all mm-hmm. previously it was something like this that uh, a hall will be give, provided where everyone will have their own stalls and the examinee or the one who's uh, access, assessing all will come to your table and you have to explain them but later it turned out to be a event where you have to showcase to the crowd and then uh, everything got uh, totally out of control that i had about zero to null experience in uh, attending a huge crowd especially i'm from the um, boys school so i had zero experience mm-hmm. while talking to females and in crowd i can see on the far- front side everyone was female so <laughs> it was like my face was whole red and i was just doing something which was not relevant like in the project there was a battery which need to be connected to each of the circuit Uh, like one by one but mm-hmm. in uh, nervousness i had just connected all at the same time and it oh went that uh, all the circuit gone over blown and uh, battery died instantly like it was a wow. overload on the battery battery died instantly <laughs> and the project was diminishing in front of my eyes and the examiner <laughs> was like what, what what is this i i was like sir is a technical error we will get it sorted and then they gave us uh-huh. like half hour or so and then we Uh, did again and uh, luckily like mm. after the event I, we got the chance they said that you will get chance after half an hour but luckily they oh. gave us chance after the event so after the okay. event in personally we explained them the all so oh, what the problem was and everything way. oh my god <laughs> that's such a funny story i'm sure you're never going to forget it yeah sure all right. right anybody else anybody else has an interesting story about public speaking like harsh did that was interesting okay i don't know whether it's interesting or not mm-hmm. like i'm not a person who always um, get on the stage and grab the mic and always speak I'm not a person mm-hmm. i always run away whenever such opportunity comes in i will always go in the back like i'm not giving <laughs> giving it that that try so i'm such sort of person but when it comes to um, like ppt presentation or something like if uh, my college symposium is going to organize means i will be always the one like let's let's give it a try um mm-hmm. very good one such events like uh, whenever i got to present i will be the only one who always uh, getting <coughs> lots of questions i don't know oh. why while looking at my face what they are like you know mentors or all the people who will think i don't know they i will always be getting with a lots of awkward questions so i will be like okay i'm solving one one by one one by one uh, so then everyone okay. will be like either i'm getting anxious or not every audience will get so anxious through the time i finish yeah <laughs> okay I, i usually get the first uh uh first uh, place in that uh, pre- preparation whether wherever i'm presenting presenting in a seminar hall or auditorium wherever i'm presenting like at that time i'm going to top that uh, presentation but the rest all if you are asking me any random questions like giving a mic to me and i will be like okay i, I can listen to my heartbeat and at the very uh, nick of time i could be listening my heartbeat i'll be feeling like i'm fighting 
so which okay. means like i need certain, i need certain purpose to uh, hold my anxiousness and nervousness i need some proper uh, reason to hold my anxiousness and that nervousness otherwise i feel like okay i'm giving my space for anxiousness and nervousness to get over mm-hmm. myself like this is what it is <laughs> that's over my story is right i mean that is also good and interesting and you saying that your heart would beat so fast that you could hear yourself hear your heart beat yeah. okay <laughs> you're so afraid of speaking in public no it's not like that i generally uh-huh. not a person who like crowd but if i i need some reason to resist the crowd so i'm okay. not a person who always exposes myself last see i'm speaking i'm not okay yeah please continue sorry for the disturbance yeah i always had the stage we are not only stage your people resistance i always avoid the people but as mm-hmm. uh, i found this is my problem i used the stage in various aspects so that i could normalize those people so i yeah. used the the only skill which i had was which which i was very good at was the dancing so i used the dancing like i used every stage i was excel in all the things i'll get always whenever i get on the stage i'll always get the sound of applause so yeah, that that was like the thing which i uh, addicted towards and that mm-hmm. way i really negated that stage fear if i if anyone asked me to okay get over the stage and do something then i can do that okay so that's really good so like you said that you started performing dance and dance is also a way of expressing yourself right so whatever you are doing whenever we are in front of a group of people we express ourselves so expression is always an art form whether we are doing public speaking dance or an act or even a singing or just simple speaking everything is an art form which we use to express ourselves and uh, very good that you you try to you know remove that fear from your head and you know is not let it got in the best of you so kudos to you then like so guys do you know that you know 75% more than 75% of people are actually afraid of public speaking so it is not something that only you are facing there are a lot of other people like you who are in the same boat like you and who fa- who fear speaking in in group or who fear speaking in a in front of a, in front of a lot of people can anybody tell me why why this happens why are people afraid of speaking in public uh and because there are uh, basically guess... yeah harsh go ahead yeah i feel it's because of the eyes eyes emit the energy so even when in case of one to one conversation also we have to make eye contact and uh, when in case of public speaking we have to make eye contact with so many people at the same time so eyes emit the energy and because of that we feel scared so i guess with practice only we can overcome that fear that energies which are emitted by the eyes that's a very good point yes uh, avoiding eye contact can also give you confidence for speaking in front of a lot of people that's true that's true anybody else Yeah, that is all. Anand Gowar. Yeah, sorry. So I would like to uh, mention one point here. Like what I feel and what I believe, whenever we are going to talk with uh, people or whom we don't know, or uh, uh, especially it happens with a stranger only, we hesitate to speak with a stranger because we don't know them, mm-hmm. because we have the fear that uh, fear of judging. like what uh, mm-hmm. what hap- what will happen if they are going to judge me what uh, what will happen if they will mention anything negative about my personality so some people has this ca- have this kind of fear that they will uh, uh, like will avoid to go in the public and try to we don't try to speak that's true that's true people are afraid of strangers when they don't know them right so when we this is human nature actually what we don't know we fear so if we don't know anything we are afraid of it uh, we are either afraid of it or we don't like it so that's a very good point actually because when we are speaking in public we see a lot of strange faces right that we don't know that's why we get afraid of them very good very good point anybody else mm-hmm. yeah one more unique thing that is lack of confidence or self consciousness i will say 
many of us can relate that when we are walking on the road we are walking like uh, normally but when opposite gender comes in front of us like if i am a male and female is there if i am a female male is there then even our, our walking style got changed unknowingly <laughs> like we do not feel that much confident enough that uh, we was face, uh, feeling when we was alone so it is the okay. first thing <clears throat> and second thing i will say is a uh, biological response like when you are in front of a crowd so uh, indirectly that triggers your mind that either you are the one who is supreme either they are the one who is supreme so it is like fight or flight situation so if you have practiced enough if you have perfect uh, perfection enough so then you will be in fight mode where you can tackle them easily and you are ready for every situation which ever comes to in your way whatever question they ask whatever situation it becomes or the other way is like flight where you want to run so to whatever run <laughs> yeah so this is these are the two things unique which i would like absolutely to say absolutely right absolutely right and it's not just because you're in front of a lot of people it can also happen when you're talking with face to face with one person so you might have noticed that you, that you know with some strange people you're so confident you're so comfortable but with some strangers you you lack confidence you you just want to run away the flight situation that's what we were talking about so that happens i i personally believe so when we are talking with somebody who we believe is equal to us in terms of speaking in terms of knowledge or it can be in terms of stature as well so who we believe is equal to us or below us we are generally comfortable with them talking we are generally comfortable talking with them we will speak to them very freely of course exceptions are always there regardless of like what you are you will feel a little bit of comfort then it will it becomes your choice whether you want to talk with them or not but when you face somebody who is above you in terms of speaking in terms of knowledge or again in terms of stature generally people get intimidated by them you know they are afraid of them and they fear of being judged because they feel that because he or she is above me they can judge me so as humans we are afraid of being judged we feel like what if i make a mistake what will he or she think about me so this usually happens so whenever <clears throat> you observe this thing next time you talk with a stranger and like be aware of how you are responding to them and be aware of what you are saying be aware of the vocabulary you are using because when we are comfortable we are at our best when we are comfortable talking with the other person we will use a lot good vocabulary that we have learned and when we are not comfortable we just want to get run away from that place we want to get away so in that case you will use uh, you will not use the words that you already know you will make half sentences you will speak half heartedly so and you will also not be confident so observe this thing you know when you talk with a stranger the next time so these are some situations and some reasons basically why we get afraid of speaking in public the number one thing is that what if we make a mistake everybody is so afraid of making mistakes that they think about it too much that they that this thought the single thought of not making mistake occupies your mind so much that you when you don't want to make a mistake you make a mistake so if you are continuously thinking i don't want to make make a mistake i don't want to make a mistake you will so even if you know try this experiment even when you are filling a form and you are too you are thinking too much about not making a mistake not making a spelling mistake not making an error or anything like that you will do it instead of this just try to calm yourself and think about what you are going to say focus on the content focus on content delivery in that case you will just focus on what you want to say you will focus on adding value rather than focusing on not making a mistake this happens when we fill omr sheets as well so if anybody has taken these um, exams government exams for jobs and exams iit je earlier they had omr sheets right now you just have to mark the answer on your computer screen earlier we had to fill omr sheets so while filling omr sheets also many people would do mistakes why because they would think too much they would stress too much on not making the mistake the end then and then they would end up making lots of mistakes so first thing is that you know just stay calm okay 
and don't think about not making mistake rather focus on delivering your content accurately and adding value the second thing is that what is the worst thing that can happen so hope for the best and prepare for the worst hope for the best and prepare for the worst what it means it means when you are you know on that stage delivering your speech or whatever think about what is the worst that can happen you forget something you get stuck okay so what then what do you think people will remember that moment the whole their whole life it's not going to happen right we're afraid that if we make a mistake people are going to make fun of us people are going to talk about it probably or people will remember it you know and they will judge us based on that but this doesn't happen nobody has that kind of time that kind of energy to invest in others everybody is so preoccupied with themselves that they don't think about others so the worst scenario that you can imagine actually doesn't exist it's invalid so even if you make a mistake even if you get stuck you know probably like the worst thing that can happen is people will have a good laugh you can also start laughing with them you know be a good sport so if if you do a mistake own it be comfortable with your mistakes as well see uh, what happens when you speak in your native language whether it's hindi marathi tamil telugu whatever it is when you speak your native language you are not afraid of making mistakes rather you embrace them you are comfortable with it right so with english as well you need to embrace your mistakes as well because it is a language and it's very common for people to make mistakes while speaking it's not something that doesn't happen it happens with everybody even the best of us makes mistakes so embrace your mistakes be comfortable with your mistakes <clears throat> and focus on the content while delivering your speech let's talk about some points that we can take care of while delivering a speech or while public speaking the first one is know your audience so if you have a task of public speaking if you are going to speak in front of a group of people know what people they are what age group it is what profession they are of from what profession they are and then craft or draft your speech accordingly knowing your audience is very important if you don't know your audience you will not be able to uh, make that connection with them basically so know your audience second thing is organize your content so organizing content is also very important can anybody tell me how do you organize content uh, the primary focus should be on the context like what the question been asked it's easy to go with the, your flow it's easy to convey your message but it's more important to understand what the situation requires it will be of right. no use that you are speaking for one hour and at the end the questioner says it was not the question so the first step no. is to understand the question second thing is to start with a uh, brief of the answer like concise way of the answer so that uh, the listener will understand okay you know the answer then start mm-hmm. explaining it and after the explanation give one or two examples or if the question demands put positive and negatives and at the end also give a summary because listeners are speak, uh, listening to you for a long and they might have forgot that what was the points in between so at the end give a summary to uh, summarize all and make them understand okay these were the point you covered absolutely absolutely uh, most of the things that you said are correct what we can add to this is when we start a speech we can start with an attention grabbing fact or or a question basically so for example if you are giving a speech about climate change you can start your uh, topic with an interesting fact or with a shocking statistic to show that this is happening in the world so it will automatically grab the attention of your listeners and then comes the body so in that you can put in content with respect to your topic what you are talk- talking about and then comes the conclusion and yes interaction is important if you can but in some situations you are not allowed to interact with your audiences you are not allowed to speak or you know speaking or food q and a time is allotted towards the end of the session so if that is the case try not to do that but yes start throwing or keep throwing interesting facts and things like that in between so that you know if the listeners are getting bored they can you can grab their attention once again the other thing is that you know practice practice and practice you cannot 
stress more enough. You cannot stress more on this practice thing because the more you practice, the better you be. So if you have to deliver a speech, or even if it is a presentation in your office, or if it, it or if it's, it, or if it is just a meeting, try to practice as much as possible. Stand in front of the mirror, and you know deliver that speech. Practice. Does anybody do this before a meeting or before a speech or before an interview or anything like that? Do you guys practice in front of a mirror or just with yourself? Yes, I always do this before. Yes, ma'am, I do. I have a question, ma'am. Uh, like I have been always uh, misinterpreted for my voice tone as a underconfident speaker. So, is it important to change the voice tone so it sounds more authoritative? Absolutely. Actually, the pitch, the tone, the, we, we, all of this is called para language. So you need to be aware of it, how to speak. So if you're, if you're asking a question, it should sound like a question. It cannot sound like a statement. So, for example, where are you going? This is a question. Where are you going? So when you change the tone, you know, the listener can also understand what tone that is and what emotion that is where are you going this is like an angry tone where are you going like a normal tone so tone is also very important high pitch low pitch voice modulation is also very important everything is very important uh, like all the things that you just talked about while delivering the speech not only when delivering the speech while communicating with people you know you need to take care of your pitch you need to take care of your voice especially with professional communication because people can misunderstand you and that will not play well in a professional setting. So be calm, be, uh, be composed, speak in a very polite tone. So yes, we need to take care of all of those things. What were we talking about before this or I lost track? We were talking about the content. content. Yes. Part. Yes. Yes. Preparation. Practice. Yes. Practice. So has anybody ever practiced in front of a mirror? And how did that turn out? Please. Yes, yeah. I do. Like it is very helpful. Uh, like uh, before the speech, I used to do this when I was in school time. And that okay. helped me because uh, by doing this, I am able to see my expression while seeing and my hand action and all that thing. Uh, uh, if we are giving any speech and we are just reading our paper, that will not help us, and we will right. not able to grab the attention of the all the audience. So it is very uh, helpful phenomena, I guess, to uh, practice our speech in front of mirror. So mm -hmm. I have seen this from the long time. Absolutely, very good point. Actually, that when we stand in front of the mirror and we practice we see ourselves in, in the mirror you know and we see our expressions and standing in front of a mirror is also a very good practice for boosting your confidence anybody else would like to go yeah yes like um yeah uh, practicing in front of the mirror is really crucial and i guess most mm -hmm. of the people go through uh that phase like whenever there is a preparation they will definitely go and stand in front of the mirror and prepare mm -hmm. but uh in my case that's not going to be the concern my concern mm -hmm. is always okay if i'm standing in front of the mirror whether i'm sticking with the thought process whether i'm being inside the mind or not because sometimes people will always get nervous and they got zoned out they know they don't know where they left and they will be stumbling like okay what i was mm -hmm. thinking so I will be always practicing one aspect that is whether I'm sticking with my mindset or not like even amidst the nervousness so that was mm -hmm. the practice I emphasized more on because that's more, that was my problem, my problem so right right good again this is uh, for this thing also practicing uh, is, is, is a good thing you will not forget your points you can make pointers and you know you can dedicate each point to each finger allocate each point to each finger this is a trick that I, I used to Use basically if I had to give a long speech or if I had agendas in a meeting, I would allocate all of those agendas to my fingers. So probably this is the introduction, this is email templates, this is storyboards. So if I had to talk about three things, I would allocate points to each finger so I would not forget. So this is something that you guys can also try. And then the other thing that you need to take care of when delivering the speech is uh, your language. 
use clear language this is very very important and uh, it yes whatever the speech is about use that jargon so if you if you are into a medical uh, field you need to use medical jargon if you are into it use that thing it depends on where you are and what you are talking about and then based on that you have to use the words related to it using the very fancy word will also not suffice because your audience will be not able to understand you rather than i would suggest you to use simple clear language that is understood and comprehended by everybody in the audience so that they can listen to you and they can understand you instead of uh, fancy words focus on content your content should weigh more than your language basically and if it could find a perfect balance and if you could find the perfect balance between these two it is the best thing ever so use clear language okay and instead of saying synergy you might uh, you know you might try saying like working together for better results so that's what i mean don't use heavy vocabulary that you think that a lot of people might not understand use clear simple language so that you know you make your message accessible to everybody and then control your pace do not speak fast i've seen this thing a lot whenever people speak in public or even face to face people speak really fast as if they have a train to catch this is something that you should avoid because speaking fast can uh, some people can read it as rude as well when you speak fast you can be considered rude so avoid uh, avoid speaking fast and use varied pace to maintain interest so it's not something that you your pace remains constant throughout it should be varied like sometimes your your pace is slow sometimes fast but not too fast because too fast can be considered rude and your people your audience might not be able to understand yourself so, uh, for example if you're talking about something very important go slow speaking slowly and clearly when delivering something important your audience will be able to accept it absorb it clearly and then speed it up when you are not talking about something important when you're just concluding or, or or like you know when when you let the ideas that you just put forward sink in so try to do these kinds of things and yes incorporate stories as much as possible basically so if you can give examples if you can relate to people with your stories this is the best thing ever so in, stories doesn't always mean like you know where once upon a time and then you're going with the whole story it's not like that incorporating stories mean your own anecdotes anecdotes are your own personal incidents or examples i mean so support your facts whatever you're saying with examples use visual aids wisely visual aids like ppt slides or share your screen or whatever it is wisely you have to do it wisely and then the last point that i was uh, talking about was managing nervousness so manage your nervousness by practicing take deep breaths and like i said hope for the best prepare for the worst actually so just imagine what is the worst thing that can happen and then prepare for it prepare your mind for it that even if this thing happen even if i forget something people are just going to laugh maybe i'll also laugh and then people will still to forget about it and hope for the best so be prepared for the worst case scenario and hope for the best and practice as much as possible for nervousness what what you guys can do is you know put yourself in situations where you get nervous talk with strangers as much as possible until it becomes second to your nature until you you get comfortable with it so practice as much as possible to get rid of that nervousness and understand why you get nervous you get nervous because you are afraid of making mistakes you get nervous because you think that the other person will judge you you get nervous because you think that people will make fun of you first of all nobody has that kind of time like i said earlier to think too much about others maybe they will think about you for a second and then they'll forget seriously nobody has that kind of time tell me when was the last time you laughed at somebody when they got stuck or when they made a mistake on stage 
right it doesn't happen it doesn't work like that and if you get afraid of speaking try to practice like i said try to put yourself in situation where you can talk with people maybe when you uh, go out and you think that you know this is the place where i can speak in english with people do that speak in english as much as possible and very important thing you will not be confident unless you are comfortable with making mistakes you know trust me the point where you are when you are okay with making mistakes speaking in english that is when you will get confident see you know just think about it you are confident with hindi or your native language because you are comfortable with mistakes so with english also it works the same way when you get comfortable with making mistakes in english that is when you you are confident so embrace your mistakes everybody makes mistakes you know when speaking in their native language so embrace them all right and seek feedback you know take feedback positively it should be if a if there is a constructive feedback take feedback positively and and you know ask yourself also if you don't don't have people to give you feedback ask yourself how can i improve uh, how can i deliver my speech assertively how can i put forward my points assertively how can i be more confident try to record yourself if you can while delivering the speech and look at yourself and mark points take notes what can be improved and not just improved what did you do good because you need to celebrate your small victories as well so you need to pat yourself on the back about the things that you did good just don't focus on the negative things also focus on the good because that will help you a lot in boosting your confidence so anybody else do you have any questions or what problems you face while public speaking i would like to hear them and address them as well yes ma'am yeah. i have a question khushi i always afraid say yes uh my question is to what extent uh, grammar english grammar matters when it comes to speak in english because yes. Engl- grammar is my challenging part in learning english and okay. i always uh, feel i'm afraid of speaking because of like i feel like okay i'll make the gra- i will make grammatical mistakes ha ha right so see um grammar is important for somebody who doesn't even know how to make a sentence in english or for someone who speaks in english perfectly puts forward his or her ideas perfectly but they want to take it up a notch they want to be like precise when speaking in english it is either for a beginner or for an advanced learner it is not for intermediate people that's what i believe i'll tell you why because somebody who speaking in english somebody who puts forward their ideas perfectly okay they like he or she doesn't have a lot of problem it's just that uh, they make minute grammar mistakes and that's fine because when we start learning grammar it just stresses us out and you can also reach that point where you are afraid of english where you don't want to learn it anymore when you're scared of it when it, when english stresses you out this is something that you don't want because we're all grown ups and we have a lot of other things going on in our lives and we cannot dedicate 100% of our time to this language this is something that is not that not possible not practical as well so for you kushi i see that you speak really well you know you're not making that many grammar mistakes as what i could see right now i'm just judging by a few sentences that you speak in okay that you've spoken so i can say that you're not making that many mistakes if you want to go for grammar for all of you actually you know just go through a tense chart because this is something that is very important and you will enjoy learning it to be very honest it is not something that will bore you and don't focus on the grammar terminology rather focus on the practical usage of grammar for example i'll give an example for example simple present tense Now, if you don't remember the term or anything like that, you don't need to because you don't have to write an exam. Just remember that simple present tense means verbs first form, or you can remember like walk, talk, or do, dance, eat, help. These are all simple present tenses, and we use this tense when we talk about something that we do regularly, something that is a permanent situation, something that is a habit, like I or something like a permanent situation, like I said. for example i teach english 
this is a permanent situation my permanent situation right and i exercise daily this is a habit so we use these kinds of sentences only for two situations so this way go through the tense chart and learn the tense chart like that don't focus on the terms and the formulas if you see any for grammar because you will not remember them and you will never know how to apply them while speaking rather focus on the practical usage of grammar tense chart is something that i would recommend all of you and uh, apart from that it depends what are your weak points but first you need to be conversant so that you can hold a conversation in english if not if you are not even able to make a single sentence in english in that case you need to start with the abc's of grammar and for speech while delivering speech practice and be confident so sure you don't make a lot of mistakes to be very honest you know be confident uh, when you speak in english okay ma'am thank you my last question sorry everyone my last question is how can i improve my pronunciation ma'am yes i see that so um where are you from kushi i'm from bihar ma'am bihar okay so i see that you have mother tongue influence hello yes so pronunciation all right listen listen to listen to people speaking in english and try to try to emulate them try to speak like them and when i say listen to people see when you when you listen to somebody who's a seven you will never be a seven you will be a four okay but if you listen to somebody who's 10 then you will be 7 so listen to people speaking in english in american in in their american accent and then you will be somewhere near them so for pronunciation i would suggest all of you to listen to people speaking in english in american accent or british accent but in india we don't actually use british accent that much people just um, watch a lot of american shows so we even if people are speaking in english they tend to copy the american accent so try to listen to people speaking in english and start with words or with um, you know sounds i will tell you i will suggest you to start with sir and sure for example words that have the, the word the alphabet s and sh like brass brash so try to find these kinds of words on youtube or you can even practice uh, these words on youtube try to find a video related to that and start with words first of all and observe what words are difficult for you to pronounce mark them and then start working on them one by one don't work on all of them together because uh, right now i notice that you know you have a little bit of problem with s and sh so find tongue twisters also for example sally sells seashells near the seashore so this is a tongue twister that has sounds of s and sh in english you can try tongue twisters like this also so she i hope that answers your question yeah thank you ma'am this moment uh all right. i have a question mm-hmm. yes sir uh, yeah uh actually the problem with me as i mentioned that i had been through a boy school and my college went into covid by default so i did not had many interaction with females and this thing lies to me till date like uh, when i clear 12th so yeah i have to yeah. mention the back story then after you can understand the situation so when yeah. i uh, complete my 12th i joined my dad's business so i had interacted with a lot of clients over the call mm-hmm. over the time i gained confidence to talk to them but lately uh, in last 2 3 months i started visiting them and okay. the situation happens like when it's a male client then i'm too much confident that i can handshake i can just demonstrate the product i can just mm-hmm. uh, solve out the queries but when it comes to females uh, mm-hmm. most of the time what i actually do like if it's a bright environment i can just put on my sunglasses so that she doesn't know where i'm looking at <laughs> and the second thing if the situation dull okay. then uh, she might think that i'm blind or so so i cannot wear sunglasses at that time i okay. just look at her hair okay i do not look at her eyes or anywhere i just look at her hair so this situation happens with me with females okay. i'm still uh, not able like for now also i have uh, minimized the screen so that i cannot look at you while oh, speaking okay. <laughs> so uh, okay. how can we avoid that i guess this situation is uh, with both of the genders for males uh, they cannot speak with females and for females it's same with males i guess okay for some actually i was also in an all girls school 
but lately with uh, like the more i talk to the other gender the more i got comfortable you need to do the same thing you need to face your fears to overcome it and don't wear sunglasses it's very rude when you're talking to somebody especially when you are inside indoors don't wear sunglasses this is rude this can be considered rude all right so okay you have a problem while speaking to the other gender what you can do is first start with talking on audio calls for example if you order anything from amazon flipkart anywhere talk to the customer support and hope that it's a female okay and if it is a female talk with her try to hold a conversation ask questions where is my order or even if you haven't ordered anything ask her how can i order this the buy now option doesn't work for me how can i pay for it i want to pay with emi what is the emi what is the procedure how will my money get deducted so form questions you take the help of chat gpt or you know gemini or these ai and form a like form a list of questions that you can ask on customer support and first be comfortable with audio conversations with females and then this is the first step okay and then try to talk with strangers stranger strange females keep in mind that you will you are never going to see them again in your life and even if they have an opinion about you doesn't matter she doesn't know you you don't know them end of story so go to these malls where there are females shopping assistants and ask them i'm looking for a black jacket i don't see anything and if she comes up with a black jacket tell her i don't like the fabric do you have anything else try to talk in english with her and even if it is one two sentences try to talk a con- try to have a conversation with her in english and if you go out to a restaurant uh, sometimes there are these female employees at like these try to order something in english with her like i would like this i would like this or what would you suggest so whenever you see somebody uh, who you can talk with in english do that you have to face your fears to overcome it there is no other alternative you cannot uh, like take a medicine and then you know assume that okay now i'm ready to talk with uh, girls in english or even girls in your native language it will not happen trust me you have to do it to overcome it there is no other alternative and i am on a screen right now why are you afraid of talking to me again you know this is something that you will have to do harsh there is no other way i cannot stress enough on this thing or what you can do is turn on your youtube uh, youtube and find a, an interview where there is a female and uh, where there is a female host and whatever question she asks try to answer it pretend that you are the guest and try to answer that try to have a conversation with that person so try doing these exercises and you know like again i said think of the worst situation why are you afraid of talking to the female you have to observe yourself you have to be self aware so that you can address that problem maybe you are afraid that you know that person will judge you and you don't want to be judged by females maybe that is the issue but i'm telling you nobody remembers that this much you know everybody is so fear of it especially females we have a lot of things going on in our head we do not remember things like that so address the issues and try to answer them yes you're saying something yeah may i ask a question continuation it's not a different question it's on the same line the first one i'm already doing like for last 6 month i'm here as an admin and conducting many sessions many of the female uh, participant present here they know me very well i'm yeah. comfortable in speaking right now uh, the other thing which you mentioned like go to a mall i like that idea but the yeah. thing is with, with the, uh, i'm a little bit introvert also so like if i ask for jacket and she brings me the jacket i will just take it i will not say that no, no this is <laughs> no. not the one <laughs> we <laughs> we don't want monetary loss here with these exercises yeah. actually yeah, so like uh, and so, the other thing is uh, talk to strangers like you can see the environment around even if i try to give someone seat then she sees, sees me like why he is giving me his seat what's the intention no, of it like nobody, how to avoid all you need to you are you are an overthinker as well i think gosh you are an introvert and also an overthinker you really am not overthinker i'm from delhi uh, you are in delhi <laughs> it, it is so high rated you know uh, the environment is so worst here just be polite 
okay and nobody will think like that and even if she does well, who cares stop caring that much okay first of all like i said people even if they think like that so what it's not something that you you, you are not at fault right you're not doing anything wrong so that is the truth focus on the truth what is the truth it doesn't matter what he or she thinks you don't even know that person see so just try to talk with people and yes let them all situation don't buy that jacket that is your task actually you have to say something like that that i don't like the fabric or it looks okay but i don't think it will look good on me you have to think of a situation think of a sentence and how you can do that you can only do that when you are comfortable when we are not comfortable you know ideas do not pop up in our head that's what i'm trying to say to make you comfortable while speaking with females that's why i'm telling you to do these things to go into this situation so that you are comfortable so that you you exercise your mind to produce ideas to get out of that situation take a friend with you so that you don't actually end up buying that jacket yeah thank you for the advice and i will take my friend with me thanks for yeah. answering <laughs> definitely anybody else any questions about public speaking yes yeah. ma'am i have one problem okay coco yes ma'am when i speak with uh, the, with the person who is of my age or younger than me i am very comfortable and i speak fluently with them but when i come to the person who is elder than me or he is my senior or anything like that i always yes. fumble in between or i always yes. forget that what to say now how right. to avoid situation do you know why it happens ma'am because i guess i am nervous why or i don't know ma'am i always na i know the words i know that how to explain my situation but when it's come na when it's come to the uh, the person who is elder than me i always mm-hmm. forget words yes, i like i com- completely blank out in my mind absolutely like we discussed in the session as well you know when you are talking to somebody equal to you or below you we are naturally comfortable when we talk with someone who's above us in your case who's elder to you we get nervous because we are afraid of talking with them so see when we are nervous or when we are afraid the nervousness takes the best of us in our mind and we are not at our 100% when we are nervous like I, like i was just telling harsh also when we are nervous ideas do not pop up in our head we forget everything we go blank that's how it works so let not the nervousness take the best of you instead try to stay calm and why is this happening you know there may be uh the reason could be that you are afraid that if you make a mistake that person will judge you that is the most common reason of people being afraid while speaking in english so if you also have the same issue if you are also afraid of making mistakes and the other person judging you based on that this is not true this is just made up in your head you know trust me trust me you are speaking really well and even if you make a mistake you make a little mistake people are going to forget because people focus on what you are saying rather than how you are saying if it depends on the topic actually and if you are not too bad at speaking you don't need to worry about it you need to be more confident because when you be more confident you naturally become a good speaker confidence makes you a better speaker uh, just imagine if somebody is speaking with confidence and they are making a lot of mistakes people don't care whereas if somebody is making less mistakes and they are not at all confident their mistakes will be highlighted because they are doing it themselves they are highlighting their mistakes by not being confident confidence is everything trust me fake it till you make it okay i i also have a question okay Uh, okay my question is somehow uh, finding the common place in harshavat and coco's question that mm-hmm. is okay while handling people so uh, the thing is quite little dimensional that is uh, i'm not only getting afraid it's not it's not i'm not saying like i'm afraid of the opposite gender i always has that uncomfort uh, double feeling whenever i'm talking with opposite gender so mm-hmm. that's common uh, even in some cases i will be feeling uncomfortable with my gender also that is different problem but my actual problem is that i will always get zoned out it's mm-hmm. it's something 
uh, how I can narrate my sister's life. Paid for ten and act for fifteen. <laughs> like i would not only like uh, give my give myself a task okay now you have to uh, like explain this to them so i'll be start yeah. doing that and in the middle of that i'll got zoomed out and i'll be looking mm-hmm. at the, okay, what the environment look like does everyone looks good on me or does everyone uh, being like you know brisk or something so okay. i don't think whether it is good or not but i always has this memory like whatever i'm doing i if i still thinking about uh, certain things i can have the pictorial memory uh, pictorial representation of what i seen that moment maybe mm-hmm. because of zoned out thing and observing i don't know whether it is good or not but it is completely disrupting my flow if i'm doing something it is completely disrupting uh-huh. my flow okay so uh, observing things is a good thing first of all you need to be observant of your environment to Uh, you know, observe it and then forward your ideas across to react accordingly. That is a good thing. But don't let this one thing like conquer all of your mind. You need to dedicate, allocate your mind and your attention equally to the things that you are doing at one time. So you need to practice that. Actually, you need to get out of your comfort zone. Also, like you said, you zone out. So this usually happens when people get too comfortable with backing out, you know, with uh, with not having to struggle to get out of that situation, or to make your way through that situation by uh, saying something or by finding a solution. So whenever you are in these kinds of situations, make a habit or stress yourself on finding a solution. Trust me, you will. This is not difficult. The only the process of finding the solution is difficult, but you will. at the end it depends it just it's just a matter of time and thinking basically trust me so practice as much as you can and whenever you get zoned out just grab like practice mindfulness you know bring your attention to the present moment mindfulness can be practiced in five ways i'm not sure all the five ways but it is related to your five senses so maybe have something in your hand that you can touch touch your feet to your ground to bring your attention back or uh, like you know have something like an anchor with yourself that would help you to bring your attention back to the meeting when you are there and when you're talking with the opposite gender you if you get stressed or if you don't feel confident practice it enough practice it with somebody who you are comfortable with right so this is all this can also help and you know uh, getting an anchor for yourself will also help bring your attention back and not so that you don't get zoned out so that will also help all right guys let's end the session probably next week we'll have a q and a because i see that you guys have a lot of questions so we'll probably do a q and a session and you can uh, just uh, bombard me with all of your questions and queries and everything you have to ask and i'll be there to help you and answer you with some suggestions all right so it was great talking with all of you and i hope you found this session helpful in some ways or the others and like i said practice practice and practice this is the best way to be a confident speaker and confidence is everything fake it till you make it and trust me nobody has that kind of time to think about the mistakes that you did and uh, you know even if you got stuck at a moment nobody will think about that trust me so just straight stay to true to yourself and focus on what you are st- saying rather than focusing on how you are saying it or rather find a perfect balance <clears throat> between these two all right everybody so i am ending the session here it was great talking with all of you thank you for joining the session see you next week bye yeah, bye then bye Thank you.